how y'all doing this evening? Sorry, I had to turn that volume down a little. Let me soak it back there. Watch. Well, anyway, the main reason why I want to come up here and do a van vlog is because to tell y'all the truth about the challenges of everyday life with, um, excuse me, a child with autism. The struggle is real. Now, I'm a firm believer in the Bible. I'm not going to get into too many details about that because, you know, I don't push it on nobody to each his own. But, I just wanted to make that clear. And, um, I know part of the Bible talks about the fruits of the spirits. It talks about the evil fruits and uh, the good fruits. And some of the good fruits are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, you know, and etc so now before hope was born i was into my bible and so during the time she was born um i wasn't aware that um she had autism i mean she seemed like a normal baby but um i did notice she was uh very active and so like what i mean about that like she could be in her um, crib five and six months old like standing on her head I'm, I'm talking about she was young you know standing on her head and you know just playing and stuff and then I know when she got a little bit older um, she wasn't even one yet I'd say about 10 or 11 months when she you know like if you say hey to her she'd be like she you know she do stuff like that so but um, fast forward to a year old now when hope was a year old she was saying a few words you know she was able to say her abcs she was counted 10 and um she knew how old she was and you know the basic stuff like that but all of a sudden it just seemed like she just stopped talking and then i got on video when she was two years old saying jesus loves me you know, uh, just saying Jesus, Jesus, you know, like that. And uh, all of a sudden, she, she just stopped talking. I'm like, what's going on? So, you know, I started doing my little research, and I think autism was part of it. You know, like, with some children shot back, and they don't talk really today, like, three-year-olds, you know, some children, and, you know, you might want to seek speech therapy, you know, stuff like that, but in the back of my mind, hope they needed speech therapy because I knew she was talking. So when she went, this was during the time I was not going to go to the pediatrician. Now they just go once a year only for a well checkup, you know, which they don't really have to go. I do not let them get shots, but that's on another video. So, uh, and her pediatrician was like, well, she's not on the level that a normal three-year-old should be, which, you know, I'm a mother, I live with every day, I knew that. But in this world, you know, you just need stuff in writing and on paper. So they recommended me to her to get uh, speech therapy and occupational therapy and to be tested for autism. When I first heard that, you know, my heart was like crushed. But, you know, of course the word of God came to me. You know, you are unique and wonderfully made. And, um, so, she had her autism screening, and she was diagnosed with autism. Okay, it was a hard pill for me, a pill for me to swallow, but, you know, of course, I have no other choice but this. Okay, I forgot what I was saying, because um, I had a phone call. Um, let me see. Well, I'm just going to start with Hope D got diagnosed with autism now. That was a hard pill for me to swallow, but of course, you know, by me knowing the word of God, I had to accept it because, you know, and this where you are uniquely and wonderfully made. So now on to the everyday struggle. It is not easy. I don't care if that was your only child, it wouldn't be easy. And I have five well, I have seven, but you know, the up to they ground 19 and 26, and the rest of them 11, 
let me think y'all be patient 11 10 8 6 which is hope and i got a three of them okay so all of them now it's a struggle baby when i tell you the fruits of the spirit have to come into work like i love now don't get me wrong i love all my kids and i love my unconditional love have to come in patience 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 omg patience yes okay what i mean about patience you know like she 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 full or not autism children brain work the way that it works they don't see the world like we see it you know they they that just the way it is they see the world different they um register stuff in their brain different you know like hope she she love to make mess you know um i had did they were on real nice and talent she just peeled it up i said okay well but thank god i do live in a house with natural hardwood floor. I said, well, it's just going to have to be the natural hardwood floor. So, you know, and I had painted their room um, pink, a pretty pink color. Actually, my sister Vena did. You know, she helped me. Thank you, Vena. But Hope started pulling the paint. So, you know, with the paint, you know, scratching and stuff like that, I said, okay. I had to come up with a solution with that. So, I just uh, painted different look, different colors, you know, because another thing about autistic children, they like, um, shapes and stuff you know they like to focus on like shapes and you know certain objects so i just got their room spray paint all different um color polka dots so you know so they won't just extract her to just like one little color you know what she'll be attracted to try to want to mess it up so she just see all the colors and since i did that that was no problem you know and um and i'm still working on potty training her now she will she won't go on her own you know, that's what I'm trying to teach her now. You know, when she feel her urge to go. So throughout the day, I say, come on, let's go party. Let's go, you know, party and make bug, you know, number two. But I say bowel movement. You know, I just say, let's go bowel movement. Because that's what it is. And let's go urinate. But with hope, I just say, come on, let's go party. Okay. And when she do do it, I pray. It's like, yay, hope, good job. You know, and I let her know she did a good job. And then she'll get a reward. But, um, like I say, she won't go on her own, you know, and so she's still in pull-ups, you know, which uh, I'm okay with it, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time, being patient, you know, she'll get there eventually, she is doing much better than what she normally do, because normally, like when she was three and four or whatever, when I used to take her to the bathroom, she just scream and holler, she would not do nothing, now when I take her, sometimes she do it, and like, um, uh, now, and another thing, she loved water. So once I discovered that, my first goal was to make sure, which I do all my children, but I had to make sure Hope know how to swim because um, I don't want her to just take off, you know, and just, you know, jump in a pool or whatever and she in a drowning. So that was my main goal to make sure that she know how to swim. So. She, um, all her life she's been surrounded by pool water why I love to take her to water park beaches swimming you know stuff like that so I made it easy with that you know I'm not worried about her because she do know that's one thing about hope she know if she can't touch the bottom then she turning around you know she not going out there she have to be where she know that she able to touch the bottom and go under and stuff like that so that was one of my fears to make sure that she know how to swim and like you know like she just get into stuff she constantly have to be watched which i do thank god that i am able to be at home with her every day you know throughout the day but they do have places for kids with autism go where the parents are not able to be there so i just thank god that i'm able to be there with her you know it's by choice and um what else can i say um yeah and she now one thing i do like about her she does play she do play with her sisters and um her brothers her sister and her brothers she do play with them now in the past like when we take the hope to the park you know she'll run up to like a little girl and just pull a bow off her hair you know she'll just take another child toy but as she got, as she getting older and maturing, she learning, you know, to interact with other kids, you know, um, 
they like I what y'all may or may not know I do homeschool them so they don't really be around kids so that's why I make sure I take them out to the park to the beaches um, to the YMCA so she can interact with other kids so you know besides just being in her little comfort zone so now she have a tool where she will you know interact with kids you know here and there um, another struggle um, she do not like the dentist she let me brush her teeth but like when I like hope no dentist office and she no doctor's office she don't want nobody to touch her. I have to be right there with her you know um, but she do know how to brush her teeth and um, and she will let me brush it um, she know how to bathe herself but of course you know I do it to make sure that it's done properly you know I bathe and then I you know let her wash herself she love to take over bath of course she love water and um, and sometimes she'll just like if she get overwhelmed you know too much going on around and she'll just have like a tantrum but when Hope have her tantrum this is what I do because she loves praise and worship music. I just get a hold and start singing to her, and then I let uh, one of her little um, CDs play, or you know, or put it on YouTube or something like that, and that calms her down every time. So our glory goes to the Lord on that. And uh, what else can I say? But her, oh yeah, she loves snacks you know like perfume soaps and you know and i have to be careful about that because i don't want her to get no high from that because you know it can you can get a high and then there, 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 there's chemicals going in your body so i have to be mindful of the things that i let her smell and touch so lately i just began like unscented lotions and soaps and stuff like that and she loves hand sanitizer <laughs> But yeah, which is a good thing. I mean, you know, but I don't. She don't eat it. She don't eat it. She just like to smell it. And um, and I know in some people it's a deficiency, but I make sure that um, all my children take vitamins every day. You know, even my oldest child, Levante, when he was little, he always took vitamins every day. So I know it's not no vitamin uh, deficiency, deficiency, like whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say that she having. And um, let's see what else I can say because I'm finna get ready to go in the store. Me and Miss Hopi got my living doll back there. Hey, mama. I love my baby girl. Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh oh. Can you get it? Um, well, I'll be back to tell y'all more. Let me go ahead on and go in the store with her.